How much does he know about you and Mrs. Wendis? I beg your pardon? Well, you wrote a letter to Mrs. Wendis from New York. It was found in the dead man's inside pocket. I didn't mention it because I, I wasn't sure how much Mr. Wendis knew. Have you any idea how it got there? No. Where's Tony? He's just gone into the garden. Uh, Mrs. Wendis, when you lost your handbag, uh, did you lose a letter as well? No. Margot, it was found in the dead man's pocket. You did lose it, didn't you? Yes, I did. I asked you that before, didn't I? Yes. But you see, my husband didn't know about it. Now, this man was blackmailing you, wasn't he? It's no good, Margot. Tony will have to know about it. No. It's the only thing we can do, Inspector. After Mrs. Wendis lost my letter, she received these two notes. Last October. How many times have you seen this man? I've never seen him. Mr. Halliday, I'd like you to come along with us. Yes, of course. Mrs. Wendis, when you come to make your statement, there may be other police officers present. I shall warn you first that anything you say will be taken down and may be used in evidence. Now, never mind what you've told me so far. We'll forget all about that. But from now on, tell us exactly what you know about this man and exactly what happened last night. If you try and conceal anything at all, it may put you in a very serious position. I wish you'd explain what you mean by all this. I will. Now, do you admit that you killed this man? Well, you say you did it in self-defense. Unfortunately, there were no witnesses, so we've only your word for that. But I heard it all, Inspector, over the telephone. Well, what exactly did you hear, Mr. Wendis? Well, I heard a series of faint cries. Well, did you hear anything to indicate that a struggle was going on? What I did hear, Inspector, is perfectly consistent with what my wife told me. Well, so all you really know of the matter is what your wife told you, isn't it? Now, you suggest that this man came to burgle your flat, but there's no evidence of that. There is evidence, however, that he was blackmailing you. Blackmail? Yes, I'm afraid that's true, Tony. And you suggest that he came in by the window, and we know that he came in by that door. But he can't have come in that way. That door was locked, and there are only two keys. My husband had his with him, and mine was in my handbag here. You could have let him in. Are you suggesting she let him in herself? Well, at present, that appears to be the only way he could have entered. Don't you even believe I was attacked? How do you think I got these bruises on my throat? You could have caused those bruises yourself. 